So I want you all to visualize the following sentence. The pedal fell onto the ground. So when I say that, do you think of the pedal of a flower, P-E-T-A-L, or the pedal on a bike, P-E-D-A-L? This was the focus of my research. I wanted to see what affected homophone perception, specifically to see if gender affected homophone perception. In linguistics, gender differences in language are called gender lex. To test this theory, I enlisted 30 participants, 15 of each gender, and I played a recording of a homophone for them. I then asked them to write the first sentence that came to their mind using whichever homophone they thought that they had perceived. For example, I would play the word cell, and they would either write something down like I sell books or the prisoner in the jail cell. Unfortunately, after analyzing my data, the results were not statistically significant enough to prove that gender affects homophone perception. However, I did notice a different pattern that was very interesting. In the results, uh, the women were much more likely to be specific in their responses as compared to the men. For example, they would specify what they ate, what was being sold, or who the prince was, often being Prince Charming. In this graph on the left here, we can see this example. So eight women specified exactly what they were eating, while only four men did the same. In most cases, women were twice as likely to provide specifications in their responses as compared to the men. So why is this important? Why is this something that matters? In linguistics, there's a long-standing theory that men are socialized to use language to establish power, while women are socialized to use language to build solidarity. We can see this dynamic on the graph to the right. Women, um, their language use is perceived as inferior because they don't use it to establish dominance, but rather build community. Men's language use is seen as superior, therefore implying that women are inferior to men. However, this is not the case. Specificity is a linguistic feature that is a positive attribute. We can all benefit from clearer communication. And if we can find positive and impactful aspects of females' language use, while also finding the same features in men's language use, then both genders can equally use language to build relationships with others and also to contribute to society as a whole. Both genders are valued, and they can both help change the world and make it a better place in different ways. Thank you.